the most delicious zucchini gratin ever and it couldn't be easier. I promise you the zucchini is caramelized, it's cheesy, it's bubbly and it's got a lovely crunchy topping. It's so good and you're gonna love it for your Easter side dish or a side dish in general this spring and summer because it's that good. I'm Lara Vitali, and on this episode of Lara Eating Kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious gratin. We're gonna be using zucchini. Now, let me start off by saying, I'm typically not someone that loves her veggies, especially something like zucchini in cream or in, you know, a heavy sauce or anything like that because I like them simple. I like them sauteed, you know, so that they don't lose any of their freshness. But we are only adding heavy cream and some cheese for the cheesy compo components to this whole thing. And somehow it makes the zucchini, and in this case also some yellow squash, just so much better. You have to just trust me on this. It's fantastic. I'm gonna be serving it for my Easter table this year um, and I'm just so excited. What I'm doing right now is I'm slicing some zucchini and I'm also gonna slice up some yellow squash and I'm gonna cook these in batches in a large skillet with some olive oil um, simply because if I were to cook them all at the same time, what I would do is I would be steaming my veggies instead of caramelizing them and nobody wants that. You're also gonna need onions, olive oil, heavy cream, I'm using a mixture of delicious smoked Gruyere, although plain Gruyere would be lovely, some mozzarella and Parmesan for the cheese, and then we're doing a panko Parmesan parsley topping that makes it really, really good and delicious and golden and all the good things. I'm gonna be adding my first layer, and I'm just looking to add some color on these veggies, but I'm not really worried about cooking them all the way through because we're gonna just continue cooking in my baking dish. Most of my squash and zucchini and onions are cooked. Now I forgot to mention that every time you're cooking a batch, you're gonna to to make sure that you season it with some salt and uh, you're gonna most likely have to add a little drizzle of oil just to get it going. My oven's preheated. You're now looking for all of the zucchini to be caramelized because otherwise it would all be a little bit too mushy but you are looking for some of it to have really good color because that will attribute to this let me show you what's in the bottom of this gorgeous dish you see that you see those beautiful juices there's something truly magical that happens and i said this in my video last year when i made that zucchini pasta if you guys remember um, something really amazing happens with zucchini when it touches oil and it cooks for a long time in olive oil. It just almost becomes buttery and it's so good. I cannot even describe it. To my heavy cream, I'm going to add just a small pinch of nutmeg. I always add that to pretty much any gratin, um, anything like that. Some salt and a little bit of black pepper. Now if you want to be one of those people that makes this gratin by layering all of your zucchini, like standing straight, like, you know what I mean? Kind of like fanning them out, then you can do that, but I don't do that and I find that to be very difficult to do with um, cooked zucchini and squash. I'm gonna just pull this off now. I don't wanna take it too far. And then I just give everything a mix because I wanna make sure that the onions are mixed throughout. This is so good. I made this a couple weeks ago for dinner when our neighbors came over and we ate, I made a double batch, it was huge, and there was only eight of us, and we literally ate the entire thing. <laughs> there was a tiniest bit left over, it wasn't even enough for me to have as a lunch the next day by itself. So I'm gonna add the heavy cream. I know, I don't normally like to add a lot of creamy things to vegetables like this, but trust me, it's so good, it will be a staple in your kitchen. I add about, a little less than a full cup. It really does depend on the dish that you're using, so you just don't want this to be dry, but you also don't want it to be soupy. And then in here, I have my mixture of cheeses, like I was telling you. I've got mozzarella, I've got Gruyere, and I've got parm. Sprinkle that all over. Then for something crunchy, I just take uh, panko breadcrumbs. These are Italian panko breadcrumbs, which I actually really love because they're nicely pre-seasoned for me. And then I added a little bit more Parmesan cheese and some fresh parsley to this. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I want these to be damp 
in the olive oil and then I sprinkle this over the top and then you get cheesy deliciousness and crispiness. So it's like the best of all worlds. And now I'm not gonna use all of it, but I will take the rest and I will put it in the fridge and I will add it to probably meatballs or anything like that. And now this just needs to go into a hot oven at 425, about 20 minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And it is so good. Cannot wait to have dinner. Look at that. You take some of that cream sauce that just begs to be poured. I know what you're thinking, but you're gonna have to trust me. I don't really think I've ever steered you wrong, have I? A little bit of extra parm on top. And that is so good. You're gonna have to trust me. You're gonna have to make this and just learn for yourself. Look at that cheese. Mm. Wow. That is like the best thing that you can do with zucchini and some cheese. Please make sure you're using a Gruyere or a sharp cheese, otherwise the flavor is just not gonna come through and you want that lovely deep nuttiness. It's the best. Go to lauriainthekitchen.com for the written recipe. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.